This is Matt at Gaslamp Computers. This is another video in my Go Open Source series where I tell you about free and open source alternatives to commercial software. And the topic of this video is going to be Miro, uh, the video BitTorrent uh, media guide program. So it's available at Get Miro. Dot com. And we'll go ahead and download Miro now. Okay, once the installer downloads, we need to run it. Just do the easy install and let it install. Okay, once it installs, it'll ask you to install the Ask toolbar, and we don't want to do that, so click Don't Install. And now I'll run Miro. Okay, you'll have to go through the first time setup wizard, and it asks if you want to have Miro run at startup. And if you're going to use it as your media guide, I recommend having Miro run at startup. So I'm going to click yes. And do you want Miro to look for media files on your computer? I don't currently have any media files on this computer, so I'm going to say no. But if you do, you can say yes and then um, have it search. Okay, so this is the basic Miro interface. If you get a security alert from Windows, you can unblock Miro. Okay, so let's look through a few things in Miro. Uh, first, you have the Miro guide here. This is your home page whenever you open Miro. Uh, then you have the option for a video search and then you have library where it has video audio and other stuff and then it'll show you what you're currently downloading and below that are all of your subscriptions so you can have a site subscription and by default they have legal torrents and the Miro audio guide and below sites are your video feeds and by default they have the wildlife highlights and global pulse and below that are your audio feeds and by default they have this american life and then below that are your playlists so let's go through and see how we would add something to um, miro so we have a video we like let's say the daily show Okay, so it's the Daily Show with Jon Stewart is what we want, and so we click Add Site, um, and when it it'll add the site over here. And the great thing about Miro is all the content on it is free, so you don't have to worry about buying stuff. But Miro will automatically add the Hulu site for the Daily Show, and then. Uh, whenever you want new episodes you can just open Miro and it'll automatically take you to the Daily Show site. Also have the Colbert rapport. Um, okay so if we want something that's not a site but a video we can uh, search for that too. One of my favorite video blogs is Make Magazine. So we search for that. Okay, Make Magazine videos. And you see it's this is in HD and we can add the feed here. Instead of adding a site, we'll add a feed and it'll add it under this category.
And now, by default, it'll automatically download the newest episode from that feed, and you can change the settings here. You can uh, change how many feet, how many videos you want to keep. Uh, you can change how many you want to auto download, and also you have the option to remove the feed and see auto download here. You can either auto download the newest one, or you can auto download all, or you can turn auto download off. And that's when you're adding a new feed, uh, which one it, it downloads for you. So we have one downloading, as we see here, and then we can see the full feed if we scroll down and download the ones we want. Uh, keep in mind that high definition video is going to be very large and take a while to download. You can see this video is 153 megabytes. So what you can also do is add audio feeds and they work very similar to video feeds. We go back to Miro Guide and one of the audio feeds I like is I Love Movies with Doug Benson. So we search for that and we'll see if it finds it. Okay. It hasn't found it yet. Let's show audio feed here. And it didn't find it. Okay, so that's not a problem. It, it didn't find I Love Movies. Uh, it's not going to be able to find everything. Uh, everything's not necessarily on the Miro guide. But you can go to the site where you uh, download your podcasts and get the RSS feed. It could be an RSS feed or an Atom feed. Uh, but you find the link to that. And we'll copy that RSS feed. And then go to sidebar in Miro and add the feed there and it automatically adds this feed uh, it puts that URL in and it's an audio um, podcast not a video and then we go to create feed and we'll see that it automatically adds that feed and starts downloading the newest podcast um, so You can also download torrents with Miro, and by default it, li uh, it links you to legal torrents, which is openly licensed media. That means you can download it for free uh, legally, and so it's a, it's a great way to find new content that isn't restricted by copyright. And so that in a nutshell is Miro and in another video I'll go over the Miro guide in depth and show you what you can do with it but Miro is a great way to discover new content and uh, keep all of your old content organized it's completely free and open source and it's a really nice program so if you have any comments or suggestions check out the blog at gaslampcomputers.com